No, never mind. All right. Is it on? Yeah, it's on now. Sorry, it was not on before. Just start right. talking about it. Just start asking. Anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so, Purple Day. I want to know about it. I think everyone else wants to know about it. What is the purpose of Purple Day? Purple Day is also where it Purple Day. It's a day in recognition of LGBT youth in schools and in the community, and it aims to foster a safe and supportive environment for these individuals. Okay, that's fair enough. And, um... I see you're wearing the purple shirt. Terry, where's your yeah. purple oh, item? Um, I don't have any items of clothing that are remotely purple. I apologize if you're offended. I'm not I'm not saying, you know, I just don't have any purple clothes, right? That's fair enough, that's fair enough. And so, you're both part of the SRC, is that correct? Yep. Yeah, that's right. And, um, just as an overall thing, that anyone who doesn't know what the SRC is, what is the SRC? Do you want to take this one? Uh, the SRC is the Student Representative Council. Basically, it is a group of students from each year group who all get together and we decide... Uh, we like plan events for the school and we find ways to make it better. Okay, that's... Um, yeah, I understand that. And so, I've heard there's some voting and there's going to be certain speeches about the next school captains and roles. So, what roles would you two be taking? Right, I'm going for Vice. And I'm running for school, vice, performing, and environment. Jeez, that's quite a quite a lot of different ones. Why did you decide to have so many different roles? Well, I see, I see the role of captain as a way to, you know, enhance that certain branch of whatever you're representing. Yeah. And those four specific branches are things where I think I could really aid the school and really enhance and represent that specific part of our school's community. Mm, okay, and how about you, Terry? Well, you know, Vice is, um, it's, it's a wonderful p position. You know, you, you're very close to the top, right? You've got all these things happening. You've got the council right under you. And it's, it's miraculous, you know. You're not exactly the face, you're not the leader. You're not number one, right? But you're important, you're in that very distinct zone of um, you know, the leaders, essentially, of of this entire school. Right. Yeah. And um, and what roles would like, what would you strive to achieve? Would you? Is there any specific things to you that you think are important in bringing into that role, such as, I don't know, I'm um, having certain days for such as Purple Day. Yeah. Me personally, I. I really want for our year to leave a legacy on the school and I want okay. that to be making Forest a leader in the community of yeah. schools on the Northern Beaches in particular issues okay. such as um, in support of White Ribbon or in support, you know, having clean environments around the school. I want our school to really be like seen as one of the best and a great place to send your kid because right now our image in the community is a little more negative than we would like it to be. And why do you think that is? Oh, uh, I mean, what's, well, how does any place get an image? <laughs> Stereotypes come out, you know, about schools and the people at the schools that don't represent the school itself. Okay. But to really improve the image, we first need to improve the people within the school's opinion and, you know, how, we, how they see the school itself. And that can be done through events like Purple Day okay. and things that, you know, include the whole school and make us feel like we like being here. Right. Terry, do you have anything to add yeah, to this? Right. There, there are always going to be, you know, a couple of people out there that really ruin it, you know, for everyone else in the school, right? Yeah. They're really, you know, and I suppose that's natural, mm. you know, whatever, what's, whatever school you go to or university or even primary school for God's sakes, you know, there's always a select group of kids when people see these kids, right, with, with the shirt and the logo, and they see, oh, that's Forrest. It's not mm. Forrest, right? But it's about changing that perception. It's about, you know, taking that and saying, no, that's not who we are. We're this. We are better. This is how diverse, this is how wonderful and elegant we are. Because, mm. you know, it's, it's an elegant school, right? Yeah. That's what you have to say. All right, and um, how would you? That's a metal pole. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the metal pole outside. Yeah. Some monkeys. Um, so, what do you think about like how is coronavirus actually affecting um, the SRC? 
Well, uh, coronavirus has really... It put a really sudden halt to any any and all projects that we had planned. Yeah. And now, especially with the voting process, um, we're not able to do speeches in front of our year groups and in front of who we're pitching to. But yep. instead we have to film the videos, which will then mm. be played to the teachers and the year groups. And then, and then they go and vote. Right. And so, um, would you say that affects the emotions that you're trying to portray through these events? And like the um, convincing people to be a part of that is a bit harder due to this? I would say it, it raises the difficulty of getting your point across. Yeah. If at least you're in the hall when you're watching the speeches, you might not be incredibly engaged, but at least there's still that little bit of engagement because the person's standing right there. In this way, it's in videos, it's, you're just sitting there watching endless, you know, videos and things like that, and yep. it can get a bit boring and it's easier to zone out than it would be in the hall. Okay. But hopefully, you know, everyone still keeps enough attention and takes, you know, this seriously and votes for who they believe. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. Um, and now with camp being cancelled, what do you have to say about that, right. Terry? Well, camp, you know, wonderful thing. It's, oh, well, here's an announcement. Good afternoon, students. Dylan Kennard, year eight. Shout and that's Dylan Kennard. Oh. Thank you, Sam, for that opinion. Um, I know that you have to go now for other important meetings, like reasons. So, yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and me and Terry will continue after and this don't short worry, break. Don't worry, kids, I'm not going anywhere. That works. Yeah, that does work. Um, I'm going to make a hot chocolate. Oh yeah! Would you go like ahead? Some? Go nuts! Um, yeah, you can make me one. I well, I only have one, but I think we can. Um, I you, you can share. I Look, can share. I'm not that fussed, you know. Hot chocolate, um, <laughs> not the health drink that I'm looking for, you know. Oh, one of the packet ones. I love the packet ones. Shout out to um, the company. What's it well, called? Well, it's uh, it doesn't have one. It's off brand. Off brand. You, you have to have the off-brand stuff, you know. So Terry, why don't you, you talk about um, whatever you feel. Anything. Anything. I'll, well, I'll just that's, make a That's time. a broad subject. Um, yeah, let's talk about this, right? This setup. Um, so, you know, hot chocolate, right? People think, where'd it come from? Turns out some Aztecs in some bush were like, let's, you know, milk the tree, for God's sakes. It just walks up to it, you know, it's not milking the tree, I suppose, but it's taking the beans, crushing the beans up, you know, right, and you, you make this, this stuff, and it actually started as um, hot chocolate. People think, oh yes, it's all the blocks and things, no, it started with the liquid, and then they made it a solid later. Um, Unfortunately, there is no kettle, so. Oh, no kettle, that's all right. No hot um, chocolate. No. Oh, is it? Microwave? Yeah, microwave works just as Thank well. Thank you. Shout out Daniel McPhee. Shout I don't think they are actually. They're microwave safe. Oh, there you go. What? There's Dylan Kennard again, yeah. How's your day been going? My day. Wonderful day. This is a sort of day, um, kids, if you're watching this, senior years, horrible things. You know, I had two hours of um, English and two hours of physics today. Mm. Now, if that's your cup of tea, then you'll love high school. You'd love senior years, that's all it is. But, yeah, that, that's a thing, actually. If, if you're not yet a senior, right, don't prioritize, oh, yes, I'm gonna do this subject, you know, because I wanna get this job, I want this career. No. Once you get into university, do whatever you like. But high school, enjoy it for God's sakes. You just pick... do enjoy it, especially year ten. That's a good yeah. Year ten is a wonderful year. Hold on, just oh. got to get a fork oh, or a yes, spoon. A fork. Right, there you go. Got my spoon. Oh. oh, it's all right. Yeah, but just do what do what you like, because as soon as you pick something that you don't like, um, things get very boring. Yeah. Very, very quickly. Just do what makes you happy. Yeah, there you I go. think that's the uh, the basis of things. We have a few uh, we have a few people guests. Outside, yeah, a few guests outside. Um, They're uh, trying to get yeah. in. Wow. Well, <coughs> yeah. Oh, so well. what are you doing this afternoon, Terry? Me this afternoon, I'm playing squash. Um, wow. Yeah, I love squash. Really good for the cardio. Great workout, you know. People think, oh, it's... Because when people think of racket sports, it's all tennis, 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 you know. But squash, mm. you know, it's a fantastic thing. It was popularized in Egypt of all places. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. I actually know yeah. That. No. Egyptians have invented so many things that we just look and you know, in society nowadays, and you think, oh, who cares, right? But, yeah. Yeah. Um, no. Wonderful. Actually, if Sam, yeah, he plays squash with us. Um, and also McPhee, uh, McPhee, could you get it over here, just take a little hello, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is Daniel McPhee, um, he Daniel plays, McPhee? he plays you squash join, with us, join the scene? right, okay. I'll grab the low, awkward chair, yeah, because I don't do this the yeah. normal way, oh, that's fine, now, <laughs> these chairs, <laughs> <laughs> don't swear for the kids, McPhee, um, right, so, yeah, if you're wondering what squash is, if you're sitting here thinking, God, Lord, you know, you're just talking gibberish, right? Imagine a, a room, right? Only you use all four walls to get the ball around, right? Yes, in every shot, the ball does have to reach the uh, the front wall at least once, but it's 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 essentially a small room, four walls. You bounce it on the front wall, you go nuts. Extreme cardiovascular exercise. You can you know, run around playing rugby for an hour, or you can play 10 minutes of squash and burn the exact same amount of fat, um, you know, calories, that sort of thing. Any other sports do you find interesting? Um, well, yeah, actually, I, I love pool, you know. Pool is a good, oh. is, it is a sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Anything, there's the... Okay, that's Dan Rourke having fun Dan with Rourke. the ball. Yeah. <laughs> a um, few monkeys outside. Well, you know. But pool, wonderful thing, you know, people, oh, it's not a sport, right? The, um, yeah, well, there are sports, they have international tournaments, that microwave is going for a <laughs> very long time. Jimmy, how long, there we go, one hot... It has overflowed oh, no. literally everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, can, I, can I pan the camera? Actually, no. No, no just bring the camera into, you know, the That's cup interview. I'll give a you a, shocker. I'll give you a, um, a saucer. Here work. you go, yeah. <laughs> Didn't work quite right. too well, uh, what you I know, expected. It does the job. Uh, this is Still half a hot chocolate. Um, it's very hot. Yeah, yeah. It smells good though. Smell. Oh, that cocoa. Really well done. Clean this <laughs> yeah, got a little bit of cleaning to do. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll do that after the show. We'll do that after. The show. Right. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah. Just oh, oh, yeah. William. Right. What else do we have to talk about? I guess we I can um, talk about Daniel McPhee. Yeah. So what brings you to the show? Well, the I called fact him. I was in the room and Terry told me to come. <laughs> right. And um, what are your thoughts on the show? Do you have anything to add or any opinions? But I might have just not listened or this might have been said, but what's the intentions for the show? Where has it gone in terms of the school and how does it benefit? Well. Personally, I think this is um, a thing up. Uh, actually, before I answer that question, for everyone wondering, this mic is mine, not Jen Mitchie's, all right? So just don't think that. Now, back to the question. Um, I do actually, I think it has a lot of, um, there's a lot of places that this could go in terms of um, Terry with the- <laughs> Opening the dishwasher, right? Yeah, dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I think it, um, Within the school community, I think it can spread um, significantly throughout the different years um, with knowledge about our topics and other We're things. We're talking about the show, right? Yeah. When you say, okay, when you say spread significantly, Jimmy. Um, with it, knowledge about it, the show. There we go. But spread gives me, you know, <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> right, uh, right. Yeah. I see. Oh, um, apart from that, do you have anything to add to that, Terry? Do you think? Um, yeah. Let's talk about masks. Who actually wears a mask, right? Who does wear masks? Yeah. I, I had to wear a mask for the first time at a sporting event right. on last Sunday, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I wouldn't I just, wear it. But... I hate the taste of my own breath being recited like. You mm, know, so do I. Yeah, it's it's horrible feeling, but it, it protects you. You know, where are kids? Um, they they have a whole stinker on the buses now. You know, they're all going. Oh well, yeah, kids, if you're on the bus, right? It's a crowded place. People sitting down. You know, it's the same stuff. They only clean it at the end of the day, so throughout the route. You know, yeah. Addressing Terry's earlier statement about the breath of your own, <laughs> your mouth, own breath, disgusting. Yeah. Listerine mouthwash 
Or oh. just general gum. Lots of gum. Just Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's Definitely an option. Here's something. I've never chewed gum in my entire life. Actually? True fact, yeah. Never. No not way. Once. Not, not once. Not once. I've got gum in my bag. I don't want your gum. <laughs> There's Daniel Jang. Shout out to Daniel Jang. Wonderful guy. He's really good with the maths, you know. He was doing mm. year 12 maths in, um, in year 10. Right, so if really, yes, really, wow. really intelligent boy. I wish I was good at maths. Yeah, that does definitely lead into Australia's maths being behind. Oh, lot many countries. You know, you you go to Korea, schools of ten thousand kids, each one does you know ten subjects. <laughs> right. Oh, there's there's Mr. Yu. Doing an Egyptian dance. Egyptian. We were just talking about Egypt. <laughs> we actually were. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's everything, funny. Everything goes full circle, I think. Um, yeah, but no, look, the Koreans are fanatical on study uh, in a good way, right? But we don't have that sort of thing over here. We do not, no. Yeah, Australia, laid back place. You, you sit down, relax, right? <laughs> so, nothing to worry about over here. Anyways, everybody, um, thank you for listening to you. the lunch break. Yeah, uh, this this is... was being Terry. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Oh, thank you, George. There's Terry some random music playing. Yeah. Yeah. No thank you, everybody. Yeah. 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 yeah, I guess we'll just shake each other's hands. It'll be really awkward yeah. and weird. Okay. Okay. This microphone belongs to Jen Mitchie. It doesn't. I promise. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, wow. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Take it easy. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, everyone.